It's the second round of hitting the picketing lines for Sharp healthcare workers. Only this week, it's now happening outside of Sharp Grossmont Hospital. Healthcare workers were here bright and early Wednesday morning, making their demands loud and clear that they want better pay and better benefits. But this week, I'm hearing different stories. I spoke to one man who tells me that he is making a 200 mile round trip commute to get to work every day. I spoke to another man who tells me he's out here fighting for his fellow veteran co-workers. What do we want? When do we want it? Tony Napoli just got off his shift. He joins the picket line in his scrubs. After working for Sharp for five years, he thought he would have been able to move to San Diego to be closer to his job by now. But he's still commuting from Corona in Riverside County. I spend between $500 and $700 a month. The commute's 200 miles. I did some math in the five years that I've been working here. I've logged about 200,000 miles. So I asked him, why does he stay at Sharp? Sharp is a fantastic hospital. We have an amazing group of people. You know, uh, we bonded together during the pandemic. Sharp executives doing no good. Treat your workers like you should. We also spoke to this Sharp employee who came to work for Sharp straight out of the Marine Corps. He's out here Wednesday morning, not just to rally behind the overarching demands of their union, but also to fight for his fellow veteran workers. Particularly this year, our veteran employees, if you hit the 20 year, they didn't get anything. They, we got a lot of veteran employees that didn't get any raise at all recently. The hospital responded saying when a contract is under negotiation, no changes to pay and benefits can be made because those are all bargaining topics. In our previous reporting, Sharp disputed the union's claims about retention and wages, stating it has one of the highest retention rates in the California hospital industry. The hospital says it also supported the new California law to pay $25 an hour as minimum wage to its employees. Sharp Hospital wrote ABC 10 News this morning saying, Sharp is bargaining in good faith and we are not in a staffing crisis as the union claims. The next bargaining session will take place today. Again, we have been actively bargaining for a contract despite the union's claims. I asked Chris Rowland if he'll continue to protest if Sharp doesn't meet the union's demands. Regardless of if it, it does, we got to do it. We got to get the message out there. While this is one union, each of the hospital's locations formed their own separate union units. But they're saying that they would like one uniform contract with one standard for care and working conditions. Now the hospital responded to this saying that by law, because each of the units formed separately, they're going to have to offer them separate contracts respective to their hospital locations. The next round of picketing will be next week in Chula Vista. Reporting in Grossmont, I'm Danny Miskell, ABC 10 News.